Okay, so this is the candy floss machine. Here you put it on. And then you'll see it says 150 there. You can use this button to increase the heat. And then when it's very hot, you can put it down to 90. It takes approximately about five minutes. Here you'll see it's starting to spin when you put it on and it's making heat. And then you need to wait until it's hot enough and it starts to make sure. Okay, so you need to first put in candy floss into the middle here before you put it on. When you've added it, then you can put it on and make sure it's done then at about 150 degrees on that first part that we put on. Alright, so then you have to wait about 5 minutes until the candy floss gets a bit hotter. Alright, so before you make your candy floss, you need to make your stick a bit wet so that the candy floss will stick to it. And then you can put the machine on and then you can start making your candy floss. It's just circular movements making the candy floss that's coming out of the heat. When you see that your candy floss inside of the hot plate in the middle is finished, the sugar, you put it off and then you can add more sugar into the middle and you just make sure that the sugar doesn't burn because it will burn as soon as there's no sh enough sugar left. Then you can put it on again, the heat will stay there and then you just wait for the sugar to come out. Okay, so if you want to take out the sugar that's in there because you want to um, have another color, then you can pour in a little bit of water and you can put it on. Get the sugar out. And you spin out all the remaining sugar that is in there. And then you can add in another color that you need. Okay. Um, you also can do this when you're done making all the candy floss for the day. And then also, if the sugar on the sides get a lot, you can take water to rinse it off. You can take water to rinse it off. Please, no sharp objects in here. Yeah, and then. For you to then take out the water is just to open it on the sides 